Because there's a lot of situations I got into where I was like, uh-oh. There it is. The front bash bar bumper thing, my jig locomotive cow catcher thing is fabricated. It's done. We are back to work today on our 2012 Dodge Avenger race car project, which really needs a nickname because I'm tired of saying it. It's a tongue twister. It takes way too long to say. But we're coming down to the wire for getting this car done. I have about a month left before the first race. And this thing needs rub rails put on the, around the outside of the car. It needs to be painted. It needs all the little tiny things buttoned up. And I really am starting to get concerned that I'm not going to get this car done in time for the first race. The thing I want to work on today is going to be the most difficult part of building this entire car. And that is putting the rub rails around the outside of the car to protect the body. So that the thing lasts for a little bit longer, you know. This is my car from last year. It's been through quite a few seasons. The rub rails are new as of the beginning of last season. This poor old car has definitely been through... Uh quite a few things in its lifetime. The hood, the hood's fine. Fits good. But you can see they've taken quite a beating. We hit each other pretty hard and it is fairly necessary to have these. A lot of people don't run them, which is totally fine, but I want this car to last as long as possible. So, that being said, I'm gonna do as much as I can within the rules to protect the body of this car and keep it from getting squished. Do I have a plan? Absolutely not. Not a clue how to do this. This is only my second time ever doing this. Last time I just winged it. And there's a bunch of stuff I would like to change. Because there's a lot of situations I got into where I was like, uh-oh. And then I didn't know what to do. So I'm not 100% sure where to start. I wanted to start doing the sides first so I know where the front and the back are supposed to be. But I also need to know where I want the front and the back to be to do the sides. That being said, the hardest parts of the car to build are the front and the back. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start on one of those two. And since the back of the car is up against the door, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna move the car again until I have to. So we're gonna start on the front. It's gonna be the coolest part of the car anyway. Have you subscribed yet? Man, this thing is really hard to ride. <sighs> I hurt my butt. Before I start building anything, one thing I need to do is swap out the wheels and tires on this car. They're aluminum, and aluminum has a lifespan of about five seconds in trash car. They tend to just go, blah, blah, and then you have no more wheel, and it just kind of, you know, meanders off in its own direction, and then you're stuck there. So, I gotta get the wheels and tires swapped out. I'm really hoping that the ones off of my old car will fit, so we need to go do some harvesting. Why? Ah. 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 Wow. A little bit of dirt in there. Can I hit the tripod? Okay, good. I just realized I don't know if I have any ribs to replace these. I've never done it this way before because I've always cared. But now I don't care. Why not try it? Whoa, that was fast. I've got my entire, see what I did there? I've got my entire collection of wheels and tires that I think will fit on this car in here. I'm really, really hoping especially that these two will fit on the front. These aren't gonna fit. No! to do something I really don't want to do. I'm going to shave the caliper. Please do not do this at home. This is probably not a good idea to do to any car that's actually going to ever be on the road ever again. This one's just going to be on dirt for the rest of its life. So it'll have to be fine. It's not perfect. 
Uh, it rubs a little bit. But I can spin it, and you know what? It'll probably self clearance. I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll uh, actually move on to something exciting. Yeah! Dude, that looks pretty sweet! It looks like a rally car. Good news, everyone! The back's fit! I didn't even have to do anything, they just bolted right on. Yeah! I will admit, they look super goofy. Whatever, dude. It's a trash car. It's not here to look good. It's here to win races! Yeah! Now, we can finally start building something. Okay, I need to figure out how much space I have between the top of the bumper and the bottom of the hood, which I believe is exactly 10 inches, and it is. I want to be two inches below. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. That surprised me. I want to be about two inches below the bottom of the hood, just in case I get smacked really hard. So that means that I need to go four inches below there, which is six inches. Wow, my math is on par today. Now, I gotta figure out how far down I want my bottom tube to be, because if I make it too low, it's just gonna scrape on the ground or on the trailer, or I'm gonna get stuck on the berm because it sits too low. But I also wanna make sure I protect my core support because it's plastic! Why? Uh, okay. It's about eight inches down, so I'll go six inches there. So six is six, that's 12, plus three, that's 15. Wow! It's time to start bending some tubing. I'm very excited because I have yet to use my tubing bender, so this will be a nice trial run. I am so absolutely excited, you guys, because I finally have a manual tubing bender. Well, I have, I have all the pieces to one. Do I know how it goes together? Absolutely not. Do I read it at a third grade level? Yes. I hope that there's pictures in the instructions. These pictures are next level tiny. How am I supposed to be able to tell what to do? Three quarter drive frame spacer tubes. Three quarter drive? What's a three quarter drive frame spacer tube? Is it this one or is it this one? I've been at this for quite a while now. I was just gonna make a funny segment about me absolutely struggling to put this together and then have it end up, you know, in a jumbled mess at the end. But I legitimately can't figure this out. Like, I'm trying to put it together. These are some of the worst instructions I've ever seen. And it even has pictures! Got the bender all put together. Seems to work just fine. And I even have it anchored to the floor. Now we can actually use it and get some stuff done. decided that this is the right handle length was off by about 15 feet. Money! Holy guacamole, would you just look at that. Now I just need to figure out the next bend to go around the car right here. And I don't think that's going to be too bad. I was just going to cut it and put a splice in here, but I want as few splices as possible. Okay, here's my thought. I have a two inch piece of square tubing which is the maximum distance I can be away from the widest point of the car. I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I'm gonna try it and cross my fingers. Like I said, if it doesn't work, then I'll fix it. But I'm trying to have as few splices as possible. So if I hold this up here, and then, oh, I used the wrong hand. So that should be the center of my bend, right there. The worst that can happen is I have to do some extra work. Which actually sounds kind of terrible. <laughs> I mean, some of you were like, no, 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 don't do it that way! And I wasn't gonna... I knew that way was the wrong way to do it. 
The nice part about working on a car that you really don't care about is that you can clamp stuff to it. This is really nice. This is my exact gap, like I said before, and I can take my cheater gauge, set it up here, figure out exactly where my bend needs to be. Yep, yeah. I was totally playing a joke on you guys. I didn't check it with my cheater gauge and then go, oh no, I did it wrong. I need to make some modifications. Yeah, that should be a little better. Oh, dude, that's so much easier. I know someone's going to have something to say about it, but you know what? I don't want to really overwork myself doing this. I still have to pull pretty hard. You know that moment where you make something and it fits the first time and you're like, yeah! This is not one of those times. I may or may not have overbent the last two bends. I don't know how, because I measured like four times. But they are a little bit too tight. I got it all tacked on. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. The angles on the sides are still slightly acute. Um, I ended up just sticking them in, where is it? Right there. That pipe right there. I ended up just sticking them in there and pulling real hard, and voila, it's uh, band-aided, not really fixed. It's band-aided, but it's good enough for right now. So now that I've got the top one tacked up pretty good, it's time to work on the bottom. It's basically going to be the same, but I'm going to have to figure out the ends a little bit differently, obviously. I need to be able to take my front tire off, and I need to be able to steer, so I can't go... You know, across there, I'm gonna have to go up at some point. I've got updates. Here we go. Look at the bottom tube. It is tacked on nicely. I'm liking the way it looks. It does appear a little bit bulky. I am having a little bit of an issue with the outside bend here. If I use that and I put another bend here to go up to the top tube, which is my plan, there's no way to avoid the tire. So I have made two of these and I plan on cutting it short here-ish and then I'm going to run that right up to here. It's a perfect plan. Wow, my hands are dirty. Well boys, we did it! I mean, and girls too. If there's any of you out there, leave a comment because YouTube tells me that 100% of my audience is male. So anyway, <clears throat> the front bumper bash bar thing is like 75% done. Maybe even 80%. I don't know, I'm not good at math. But I'm out of welding gas, so this is where we're stuck at for a little bit. Crisis averted, I got some. I tell you, those things never get any lighter. I've been toting those things around for years and it never ever gets any easier. The next item on the list is to cap off the end of the bumper on each end because the rules state that it must be. So I'm going to do that. Basically what I'm going to do is notch out the corner right here of the bumper. Let's see if I can do this while I'm looking through my screen. 
notch out the top and the bottom of the bumper so that I can fit the piece of tubing all the way through and touch the bottom tube and the top tube at the same time. I really wish I had thought about it a little better and bent these over more so that they would line up like the front two do, but uh, it's a little bit too late for that. So I'm going to do it this way. It's the way I did it on my last car and it, uh, it should be fine. I've got those two pieces all welded out. They are lovely. Don't look at them too close because they're not are really all that great. But they are solid and that's what counts. I just have two, four more pieces to make and two more braces to put in because there's going to be a really big gap between this brace right here and the brace that's eventually going to be right here. I want to try and keep this corner from folding in. So I want to put a piece from this tube straight over to the subframe. There's definitely no science behind this part. You just gotta lean back, stare at it. Well, how am I supposed to? How am I gonna do this? I just need to hold it there so I can look at it. Now it needs to go. Ah! If I make it seem like there's a trick to doing this, it's because there is. You wing it. Eyeball. Seems good. These two lines are for the power steering, and they're kind of in the way, so I couldn't put this plate where I needed to put it. I put it as far forward as I felt comfortable. So this tube is not sitting square in the car, and I, I honestly, I can't be bothered. The only people that will know will be me and you, unless you tell somebody. I'm really happy with the progress I'm making on this car so far. I am starting to get a little bit worried that I might not make it to the first race. Even though I've already registered and everything's set in motion. Well, now that the front bumper cow guard catcher thing is mostly complete, 
can start working on the sides and the back, but that'll have to be in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, I totally get it. I haven't earned it and we aren't friends yet, but I'd love to change your mind in the future. Join me on the next video where I do some more stuff to the, I'm gonna keep working on the car.